Great to welcome to this pulpit again for this, the second night of our night of refreshing. Pastor Lebron Atkinson all the way from D.C. and City of Zion in Columbus, Ohio. I want you to clap your hands and welcome him to the pulpit again. As we come to the very end Pastor Lebron Atkinson. For the glory, stay right there. I will do anything. Y'all keep staying. Just to see you. To behold you as my king. Sing it from your heart. Your glory. Just to see you, Lord, Lord. Hey, Lord. to behold you as I do. Dry. 
And in the second month, on the seventh and twentieth day of the month, the earth was dry. I told you last night that I will be preaching today, so, so that I won't be a light preacher, I will keep my word. I'm preaching this afternoon, this evening rather, to your hearing. May flowers. Very simple. May flowers. You yeah. can see it. Father, bless us and we will say that you did it. Amen. Yeah. After you have been so good to so many people, usually the ones that you are really, really good to are the first ones to show you how bad they be. Well, well. I ain't gonna get no witnesses in here. Can it be different if it was a stranger? Yeah. But it's oftentimes the very one that you don't let them use your car. They don't drop you off at work, pick you up two hours late using your vehicle. And if anybody was going to show up with me, it certainly should be you. I let you and all your kids move in my house, eat up my food, and you didn't tell me. You going to talk about me on the phone that I'm paying for anybody in the year. Listen, you are going to get in my word, but I just have Washington, D.C., all the way to Atlanta. I don't drive that long. I don't even get on a plane and fly in and out. I drove, met him on the side of the road, put him in my car. We get all the way to Atlanta. I preached five churches straight. I was tired. I was done. I was drained. And I poured him into this guy. He just said, What the act before? I said, Don't you? If you don't see me coming places messing up my name, you ain't coming with me messing up my name. Take it. What God has given me does not mean I took. 
my love. It means I've taken my time, my investment, and my interest, and I'm putting my goodness with my goodness. Some of y'all said, I can't, I don't know if I can do that. You can do it or you can die. Genesis chapter 8. God has instructed Noah to build an ark. And the building of the ark was simply because God had plans, watch this, to purify the earth that he created. Now God created the earth. Man's assignment was to manage, to live, and to live well. And there came a moment when God tells Noah, I want you to build this ark. Now what's interesting about the ark is that this ark was about the size of two football fields. Now the ark, the ark, the actual word for that ark there literally means a coffin. I want you to build something that looks like death. But it will in actuality be death in disguise. It will look like something that was designed to kill you. But what it will do is it will be a conduit for life. When God laces your life with destiny, everyone in here under the sound of my voice will be given an ark or a coffin, if you will. It will look like it was supposed to kill you. It will feel like death, look like death, smell like death. You'll cry like you're at a funeral and God will say, this is your assignment. He tells Noah, not only do I want you to get in it, but I want you to build your own coffin. Now, the danger mentally is this. In order for me to be great, I have to find a way to drill and to master working on something that looks like it will kill me. You, you do not get to have great destiny without experiencing great death. You have to Oh! 
saw it. Now what the rain does is the rain literally comes and takes everything out that's in the earth realm. Now remember, he tells Noah, grab two of everything, put it in the ark. Now here's the mystery of the divine part of the ark. Two of everything is in the ark. Two of every kind of animal. Let me freak y'all out. <laughs> You ever see certain animals in creation? I know some of y'all nation walkers and nation people. Listen, I don't mean to offend nobody, but if I do, I'm not apologizing for it. <laughs> Two of everything. Two of every animal. Everything you see today was in that ark. Two giraffes. Two lions. Two roaches. Two rats. Two whales. Two snakes. Two hyenas. You got to put stuff in your ark that's going to laugh at you. Yeah. <laughs> 